Hello and welcome to the wood framing wall plus getting started video number 6. In this video, we are going to look at additional framing elements, including additional nogging and studs. Framing configurations are great, because they eliminate a lot of manual and repetitive tasks. However, even after a wall in Revit is framed with predefined configurations, we sometimes need to add additional support studs or nogging in specific situations. For example, to support bathroom appliances, which is something that cannot be achieved with just framing configurations. That's when we need to use additional framing elements. To add additional elements, we first need to open Add Modify Elements menu, which includes commands for adding different framing elements to a wall frame. The commands below allow you to remove or add additional elements or bracing to a wall assembly. But in this video, we will focus on the upper half of the menu. So at the top, we have additional bridging, nogging, and blocking. Every time you use additional elements or bracing commands, pay attention to the left side of this gray strip at the bottom, as it tells you what steps you need to take. Right now, for example, we need to select two studs, between which horizontal elements will be added. Now, we can define additional element settings. For example, let's make it a rotated nogging spanning through several studs on the external side of frame. We need to make sure that a cut type is set to cut studs. And the box under cuts is ticked. Then we can change offset settings. For instance, right now the horizontal nogging would be offset from the bottom by 305 mm, measured to the center of nogging. We can change this distance to 400 mm. We will explore other settings shortly, but for now let's click OK. And as you can see, we've added an additional element according to predefined settings. We can also add separate nogging elements in between selected studs. For example, if we picked two studs, we would then need to untick this box, unselect cut types, then at the top, we need to choose if we want to split the nogging into individual nogging instances. So let's choose split at each stud. And this time, we can offset the nogging from the top of the frame by the same 400 millimeters. And maybe even add two elements that are 610 millimeters apart. So let's press OK. And as a result, we have four nogging elements. In addition, we can add nogging that aligns with another horizontal line-based element in the wall frame. But first, let's untick the rotate box and change the position parameter to center. Then we need to click on the command select line base element. And we will choose this header here as a reference. Notice that the offset from the top plate has automatically changed, plus we can type in the offset from the reference element, but we will keep it as zero. So let's press OK, and as you can see, the new nogging element has been added in the same line as a header. You can always modify an additional element by clicking on it and then selecting Modify Additional Element command from the menu, and you will be directed back to the Settings window. For instance, we can change the additional element offset from the bottom to 300 mm. Then click OK, and the element has been updated. If you need to remove an additional element, then click on it and navigate to Delete Additional Elements, and the chosen element will be deleted. Besides nogging, you can also add additional vertical elements, including additional studs, vertical block, and additional support stud. When you click on the Add Additional Stud command, you need to select any element in the framed wall. Let's pick this stud, for example. Then, in the dialog, 
pick the direction from the reference element, which can be the stud we selected, or start, or end of wall, or even an external element. So right now, for instance, we will add a new stud 250 millimeters to the right when facing exterior from the chosen stud. We can also add more than one additional stud and type in a desired spacing between additional studs. And as you can see, we have just added two additional vertical studs. But notice that horizontal nogging and studs do not intersect properly here. To fix this, we will update this frame using the update frame command, or you can uncheck this box in framing configurations modify settings tab, and the frame will update automatically after inserting an additional element. As a result, these framing elements now intersect properly. Vertical block is very similar to additional stud, except that it can be preassembled. It also replaces common studs if they collide. Meanwhile, additional support stud is added in between two horizontal framing elements, for example, a bottom plate and a nogging. The additional stud distance is measured from the nearest existing stud to the right, if we were standing in front of the exterior of a wall. You can also select a line base element as a reference. So this is it for this time. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.